This Monday, the 18th of January, is known as Blue Monday. I think it's because they've reckoned that it's about a month after Christmas. Everyone's feeling a little bit broke. We've broken a lot of our New Year's resolutions already. And those of us who started on a dry January have given up on that. Well, in the present climate, I don't blame you at all for that. Far from being Blue Monday, it's felt like an absolutely grey month so far. Whenever I've been out for my walks this week, it's been damp, it's been cold, it's been rather drizzly and generally rather grey and dank. But I've got the great privilege and the great opportunity of being able to go in and out of the church so very often in the course of the day. I know that many of you, when you come to the church to pray each day, find that a great comfort, a great solace, because when we go into the church, we see Jesus in the tabernacle. We focus there on him, and that gives us hope. It gives us confidence. And in a sense, Jesus in the tabernacle is our North Star. We keep focused on him in these difficult times. Many of us have experienced great hardship over the last six months or more and we know that God is working out his plan in some strange way. God has taken things from us but he's also restored many things and will continue I'm sure to restore many things to us in the future. What we have to do now, although we've had a bad few months, there's also going to be more difficulty ahead of us. What we have to do now is to continue to pray wholeheartedly, to try to participate in the rhythm of prayer, in Mass, in visits to the Blessed Sacrament as far as we can, and pray for so many things. Just think about all those poor families who've lost loved ones over these last months, the many thousands who've died in our own diocese, those who have had COVID, those who have had to isolate or who are shielding at the moment, all the others who are sick and afraid, who feel that their surgery or their treatment has been deferred because of this pandemic. All these people we can think of and pray for, many of them I'm sure we know individually and who are dear to us. So let's continue to hold them up daily in our prayer. I actually love the prayer, particularly the prayer at Mass, which is said on the Saturday following the Epiphany. It's this prayer, and it expresses for me so much of what God does for us. He takes things away, but he also gives us things in this life to help us and to give us confidence and consolation. So let's try to make the sentiments of this prayer our own in these days ahead. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. And I say, Amen to that prayer. And may God bless you.